Hello everyone, and welcome to a Threatened Ganglia Show Mini, where I'm going to talk about something that happened in episode 14. Cool intros here in this spot, coming soon. In episode 14, uh, oh, spoilers, just in case you don't know, spoilers, 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 spoilers. All right, cool. In episode 14, the crew is racing back to try and get to Starbase 1. Not Starbase 2, Starbase 1. So they can come up with a plan to try and fight the Klingons, which are wrecking shop everywhere. And apparently the wrecking shop includes Starbase 1. But uh, a few minutes before that, they mentioned that Starbase 1 is only 100 AUs from Earth. Uh, that's pretty close. That's very close. And the Klingons were able to get 100 AUs from Earth and wipe out everyone on the Starbase and tag it. And they were able to do all that stuff before someone could get out, you know, a distress call. Maybe the Discovery could pick up before they just show up there and and pull into the... Oh, hey, everyone. Hi. Hey. The, oh, no. The Klingons are here. That's bad. You might be asking yourself, well, how far is 100 AUs? Uh, it's pretty close. Like, you got the, the sun here, and the sun to the Earth is one AU. That's called an astronomical unit. And then, at the like way out here, at like 50 AU, you got, uh, what's that called? Uh, Pluto. Yeah, that thing that's no longer a planet. All right, so you got this thing that's farthest out, and it's no longer a planet. And then you go 50 more out. Oh, look at that, Starbase 1 right here. Woo, 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 woo. All right, Starbase 1. All right, so it's just like twice as far as Pluto is. And... The other question is, what's this thing here? Hopefully that I'll drop in with a little picture. Starbase 1's orbiting a planet. Oh, there's a planet out there, too. That's pretty cool. I wonder what planet that is. It's just one we haven't found yet. But, which, alright, that's possible. Whatever. But the main thing I'm worried about here is that, uh, 100 AUs from Earth. You, you might ask yourself another question. Self, you might say. I wonder how long it takes to travel 100 AUs at warp. Well, uh, luckily there's this nifty website called Memory Alpha, and they have everything Star Trek related. If you ever want to do a deep dive in anything Star Trek, go to Memory Alpha. I'll put a link down below. Uh, I'll put a link to this specific page also down below, where, you know, I, I come up to the Warp Factor page, and it's got different breakdowns of everything. And let me see, scrolling down... Travel 11.6 light years at warp 6.9 in two days. All right, but what does that mean and everything? Oh, look, here's an entry. Uh, 59.86 AU. Uh, Earth to Neptune and back at warp factor 4.5. All right, that's pretty good. So whatever this number I'm about to give you that that takes, double it. So uh, not even double, three quarters it. Add three quarters to two thirds, something math. I don't know, but so traveling at warp four point five, you can go fifty nine AU in six minutes. So that means it's like a eleven twelve minute trip for the Klingons to go warp four point five from Starbase One to Earth. Oh, uh, that's real bad, people. I'm starting to see why they're willing to give the discovery to Georgiou and let her go and do some business. Because uh, 12 minutes and you can have Klingons shooting up Earth. Oh, that's stressful. I'm worried about what's happening because I'm definitely not the be-all, end-all in original series Star Trek lore. But I never had the feeling that Klingons were anywhere near this close. Oh, I just, I can't. What do you think about Klingons being this close to Earth? 11, 12 minutes. And that's at warp 4.5. They might want to push it to warp 7. They know, I don't even know what it could be. There's no little translation matrix here on the website for me. And I'm not, I'm not doing that deep of a dive. I can't. I can't. I'm just worried. I've loved this show so much, everything that they've done so far. But since I have, and the writers have done such a great job, I'm, I'm still optimistic, and I'm still giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to buckle in, and I'm going to be there Sunday, and I'll probably be back here Sunday night with the wife, talking about it, how excited we are. 
holy crap, did you see, I didn't see that coming, the way Tyler died and everything, he's got to die, right? What do you think? Let me know down below, tweet at me, comment below, see you Sunday. Cool and screen coming here sometime soon, ooh yeah.